All right, this is going to be the Raiden Sabaru full showcase. Now, let's get right into the showcase here. First of all, here is the mode. It is actually a very, very nice looking mode. Probably one of the best looking modes that they've made recently. I do think the neon glows a bit much, but this is one of my favorite colors. So, you know, that's cool and all. Now, the first move is a normal block break, not a strong block breaker. And it's just a basic combo move. The actual, the, the fact that it makes you go back at the end of it makes it so it's a pretty hard to do M1 combos with it. But you can do abilities because it has no end lag attached to it. Now, the second move, they say, is not a block break, but pretty much how the move works, it's kind of like Minikaze third in its prime. It's an instant combo extending slash block breaking ability. Basically, if they don't turn around while the ability is going on, they will get block broken instantly because it actually it warps them out and it makes their block actually fade away. So actually it can double as a block bypass ability, which is actually extremely strong. This is easily the best move of the entire bloodline. I can see people getting this bloodline just for this one move alone, because who doesn't want a combo extending block bypass move? It has two different uses and both uses are extremely, extremely powerful. Not to mention the fact that it does a decent amount of damage as well. Now, the third move is just a basic uh, air combo counter ability. The fact it makes you go so high up in the air, quite frankly, I do think it makes the ability kind of uh, meh. Just because you cannot combo set off of it unless you use things like, um, you know, like Bruce Kenichi, Bruce Kaniki, which nobody's really using anymore. So, you know, this move, the third move is kind of a bust. But I definitely think the second move is pretty, pretty strong. And the first move is definitely not bad. Because as you guys can see, there is no end lag attached to it. So you can hit him with some combos. And you can also uh, fly off the map, apparently. All right, then now that we're back, none of the moves are actually on a global cooldown whatsoever. So the actual counter move isn't on the auto dodge global cooldown. As you guys can see with the second move of Ryan, right? It doesn't put it on cooldown. I don't know why it's not on the auto dodge global cooldown, but you know, the fact that the counter isn't on the global cooldown does make it a bit better. better. Now, the actual C spec of the Bloodline, basically, you click on someone and it does 160k damage to them. I mean, like, it's just, there's like no visual effects. It just does 100. It's just basically, you click on someone, you do 170k damage to them. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't, <laughs> I don't it's like the most unassuming move ever. 170k damage is quite a lot to just throw into a combo. So, it's a decent move overall, just kind of weird. Now, the weapon spec is honestly just Minikaze Baron mode weapon spec. Um, you know, it's just they, the, the clones dash forward, they stun them, there's not really much else to it. The actual throwable is another really good move. It's a block break stun move that does 85k damage. This bloodline, I do think it's very half-baked. A lot of the moves don't really make sense. Like, look at like look at this. Look at this. Why? <laughs> just why? Uh, I do think the bloodline's half-baked, but it does have some pretty amazing moves, like the second move, obviously, and the actual throwable ability of it is quite good. So, you know what? If you guys want to get this bloodline, go for it. I think it's a solid A, A, A bloodline. Probably S-minus if you're using only the second ability of it.